He was your day number one leader all the way from Ontario. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off. Alright, just picking up my first co of the year. We're uh, getting this thing rolling. Boat 39, which kind of indifferent to boat numbers in this one. I'm going to run about, I don't know, 100 brush piles probably. That's uh, where I've had my biggest bites this week. I haven't been able to make the offshore thing really work. Like the, the deep cranking thing, so. Gonna be a brush pile rat. When you swing out there, just the way it is right now, I mean, I've shook some off and have caught some and all the ones I've caught have been over three and a half pounds. Uh, getting five is gonna not be easy. That's, you're, that's definitely not a given. Um, but the quality's there, so we don't have to worry about getting 80th and saving points in this one. There's, you know, it's a big 200 boat tournament, um, but only the top 20 goes to the national championship. Then from the national championship, whoever wins that goes to the elites, and second and third each go to the classic. Um, so yeah that's the goal is just to make the top 20 i don't need to lay up with a limit or lay up with points or anything like that you're gonna have to swing probably pretty good to get into the top 20 in this there's a lot of good anglers here a lot of good locals too and all the best guys from their clubs so it's gonna be interesting but it's gonna be fun i've been catching most of my fish just on a three quarter ounce flipping jig with the crush city cleanup craw pretty much the same combo as using at ozarks for brush piles and docks there um mixing in the bronco bug once in a while and but i'm here to have fun um you know and swing for it a little bit and there's nothing more fun than jacking one on 20 pound floor out of a brush pile so we're uh we're gonna go have a good day it's gonna be nice out I'm not ice fishing <laughs> Fifteen seconds to go here at day number one. We get a cigar if we each get our limit, okay? <laughs> I like a good cigar. <laughs> They're not good cigars. <laughs> Again, a huge thanks to you that you follow Barber County Channel Timer for getting us here. Point thirty-seven. Yeah. Hopefully it's a large mouth. Yeah, it is. Not as big as I thought, but we will certainly take them. Yeah. You get to use the live walls today. <laughs> Yeah, first time in six months. <laughs> Got one. 
good one, man. That's a magnum. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at that little crush city. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Takes a while, but when you get a bite. Right. They're the right ones. That's more fun than ice fishing, I promise you that. <laughs> That's something I've never been able to do. Fourteen inch here. That was a giant for a I second. I did too when it first came up. I thought, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> about like the one I lost, so I'm happy with that. There you go. Yeah, I had a decent tournament there, but the only big bite I had all week was on the day one, and I lost it. It was like a five pounder. No kidding. The next biggest one I'd seen, you know, just some three pounders. Right. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get that one back at a lake like that. Nope. Well. Look at here. This is the one I missed this morning. It ain't little. Oh, look okay. no, at you. Helper. Heck yeah. That's another good fish. Yeah, we're on a little roll now. Just the blades on it. I thought you were getting ready to play into one. I was. <laughs> Just me, can you put it in the pile so much? Shaking right. it.
pretty long. That's all you got if it's a bass. It's not a helper. Nope. <laughs> Look like a bigger one that with the hooks of the bow or the rod. Yeah. <laughs> I got a couple sneaky ones. Shot. Put them in the garage. <laughs> and I'm gonna. Just you need go. 30 pounds to make the cut. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do like 27. Bro. Dude, if I catch seven, I'll be like, holy <laughs> cut. Dude, this lake. It's crazy how long you can fish without getting a bite. Like, I know. I thought I was freaking out so bad in the open last year. I haven't had a bite in two days. <laughs> Three days, maybe. Look at that. Load of lumber. Not really the rig you want to be driving behind. She's got one Canadian tire ratchet strap on her. That's her bouncing. Look at this oh, bloodbath, yeah. McGrath. <laughs> Butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> small mole. Yeah, it's, it's nice albino smallie. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a night rig and light? Got a fellow truck camper rig. Squatting with the boys. All right, welcome to day two. The, what is this called? National Bass Nation. Welcome to, all right, welcome to day two of the Bass Nation National Qualifier here on Eufaula, Alabama. We're uh, going out with the lead. Probably gonna need eight to 10 pounds today to secure top 20 spot to make the national championship. That's the reason I'm here. Uh, a win would be a welcome byproduct. Um, you know, shooting for both of those, obviously. Got to make tomorrow to have a chance to win and need to make tomorrow to, to qualify for that classic or that championship. So um, I don't have a backup plan, a layup, anywhere I can go catch two pounders or anything like that. It's pretty much running the big jig with the crush city cleanup craw and hopefully pull the trigger five to eight times today and we'll be all right so we'll uh get this party started and see you out there That's the guy to catch. He's way ahead of us. All the way from Canada, Mr. Jamie Bruce and John Taylor from West Virginia. Look number 12 out of Virginia.
push you in a dead something instead of me. You want me to grab him? Okay. That's a good one. Good job. It's a beauty. He was your day number one leader all the way from Ontario, Jamie Bruce. And he's got five for us today. Today with 29 pounds and 15 ounces. Good rebound. 15 pounds and five ounces for Jamie Bruce. Got him up into fifth place. Fifth place currently on the boater side. Fifth place currently on the boater side. Jamie Bruce. Three day total. 45 pounds and four ounces. 45 four. And man, Jamie, long trip down here to fish this one event for you and uh, got it done. Your goal was to make it a nation championship and you just did just that. Yeah, I was sitting on a bucket ice fishing, you know, eight days ago and we'll be going back to that. Um, punt, came down, punched the ticket quick, got to swing the, uh, the 13 rod a few times and uh, happy it worked out, but I gotta shout out my family and friends back home. Everyone's ice fishing up there and, and watching bass fishing like crazy, so my phone's been blowing up, so thanks uh, everyone. And uh, my wife Ashley, we're just a couple weeks out from our due date, and she let me go 26 hours away to, to go bass fishing, so uh, I'll see you soon, honey. Well, you better get back on the road, Jamie. We sure do appreciate you. Jamie Bruce, 45-4, three-day total. All right, here's the post tournament update. Uh, after I weighed in yesterday and got my check for ninth, uh, my wife called me and said we're gonna have a baby like right now. Um, I jumped in the truck, I've been on the road for a full 30 hours straight. Uh, it sounds like I'm just gonna make it in time. And holy sh! Um, I haven't slept since a few days ago. It's I think I've been awake for over 40 hours, probably longer. But got lot, lots to look forward to uh, keeping me awake. But um, yeah, I never expected this to happen. It's a month before the due date, so really hoping everything's good. Um, yeah, I'm just pulling up to the border here soon and uh, almost made her. So that's the Derby update. That's the reality of being in Northern Ontario, Northwestern Ontario and fishing tournaments in Alabama. So that's where we're at. See everyone on the next one, hopefully with good news. Thanks. You guys fighting for the sun? Is he in your spot?